Here, here. Man, thanks for coming so fast. I thought I'd be stuck here the whole night. Sorry about your accident. Let's take ah, a look. It's okay. Ugh. Look, both the front tires are done for. So what now? We'll have to tow it, sir. Whatever you say. Okay. Hey, man, can you stop here for a sec? Right here. What's up, man? Sorry. But I have to get out here right now. You can go back to the city. But how will you get back without a ride? You go ahead. I'll find a way back. Come this way. Help me out. Take him to lie down. Come here. Lie down. Just relax. Lie down. Lift your feet. Lift them. Good. Did you bring that bag? Let's change the dressing. You in pain? Don't worry, kid. We'll fix that. Don't you worry, okay, kid? You're here with us now, and pretty soon you'll see your family. She's right. You'll see your parents very soon. Don't you worry. Let's fix your finger, shall we? Thank you for helping me. Now, I'm just going to give you a shot, okay? No, no, An no. Infection. No injections. Please don't. But it'll help. I don't want it'll it. will stop the pain, okay? And it'll clear the infection. Can't we call my parents first so they can come? So they can take me to the hospital? Can't we? We can't do that. Because the men who kidnapped you, they're very bad men. They have men spying everywhere. Phones tapped as well, so we need to wait a little bit. But while we wait, we can cure your finger. And your mother won't be so upset, okay? Okay, then. Turn your head. Turn it. Turn it. Where's this dog? How can we find him? I only knew his old office address, but the police must have raided it long ago. I don't know where he could be. I've done it, Tora. Tonight, I hand Michael Sarm and the young boys agreed, and we'll get the money. We'll be rich now, Tara. The tickets and passports are all set, and we're off. We have new IDs. Take the keys. Take a taxi and sort it out. Nuri, where am I supposed to go? I brought the boy back in a different car, right? And the tickets are in our car. You need to go pick them up. But why aren't you going? And who will protect the boy, Dora? Come on, get going. God forbid we were followed, and you wouldn't be able to handle this horrible men. Go, take care of it. Mason. Last night you hung up on me. You said you'd call me back, but you didn't. I expect an apology, Mason. Yeah, well, I apologize about that, Miss Aaron, but if you only knew what ended up happening. Oh, really? So tell me what happened. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Well, I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere, that's all. Did the car break down again? Sort of. Two flat tires in the front. Ugh. Okay, well, tell me where you are, and I'll arrange for a driver to get you. Oh, really? That'd be great. <laughs> Okay, tell me where you are, and I'll organize something for you. Where am I? Oh, I'm off of West Putnam Avenue near Pemberwick Park. There's a place called Alden Road. That's just to the west of Weaver Street.
You find the car? Yeah, but there's a man here. He's looking inside the car while talking on the phone. Is it the doctor, Robert? No, not the doctor. I don't know who it is. Oh, wait, man. Do you think it's the guy Ethan mentioned? The one who was following him before? It could be. What should I do? What do you think you should do? Sort it out, man. Understood. It'll probably take a few hours considering I'm out in the woods. So tell me, why are you in such a hurry to see me anyway, Ms. Aaron? Do you miss me? It's not like that, silly. There's something that I need to tell you. Yeah? Why? Is something wrong? Gerald got a message from the kidnappers. They said Kareem's life depended on him. What? But when? What time was that? Ms. Aaron, why didn't you tell me before? It was last night. I was going to tell you all this last night, but you wouldn't let me speak. You hung up on me, if you recall. Listen, Mr. Mason, we really need to be in constant contact with you. We lost contact with you last night. Besides, Layla seems to calm down when she hears your voice. Imagine that. <laughs> but don't let that go to your head, though. It just means that you're useful for a change. I'm not sure how many more times I'm willing to face certain debts so I can prove my worth to you. Ugh. Mr. Mason? Hello? Mr. Mason? If Layla asks about me, tell her I had to go out and I'll be back soon. Mother. She thinks she's the lady of the house now? Kenny. Hmm? Something isn't quite right today, my son. Your father should have contacted us by now, no matter what, my son. I asked Mr. Gerald, but he wouldn't say anything. There must be something serious, then. I wonder if he's up to something, Mother. Uh, I don't know. Now that I think of it, he said something like that to me. What did he say? Uh, he said that we were going to be rich. Maybe he didn't mean with the horses. Oh, Kenny, do you think we should go to no, the Mom, police? No, I'm not the police. We shouldn't get them involved. Let's not get him into trouble. Let's wait a little bit. Can you ask Mr. Gerald one more time for me? Please, my darling. He already snapped at me. 